Welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to solve a problem using the nodal analysis without voltage source. So in this example, we are to determine the voltage at the nodes. And we have our circuit nicely drawn. So our first step is to identify the number of nodes we have in this circuit. Now we can see that we have one node, the node two, we have node three, and we have node four. Are we okay? So in this four nodes, our first point is to find and ground or select one of the nodes as our reference node. So out of the four, we are going to use one as the ground node. And I'll prefer to ground this part as my reference node are we okay so i now have three of the nodes remaining three nodes remaining and when you look at the circuits they are current given so i would like to also write the directions of the current so we can see that the three ampere current is moving up the ix current is also going this way so definitely there will be a current moving up this way and i'll prefer to call the current i1 so i'll call this current i1 and when you come to node this node we can see that as ix is coming it is going to split into this part and also going to split into this part so i'll also prefer to call this current i2 and call this as I3. That's it. Because at this point, we only have a current two times the current Ix, and we already have current Ix. So we can do the analysis. So this is the voltages we are also going to assign to the nodes. At node one, at the first node, I'll call here as the voltage V1. And at the second node, I'll also call the voltage as v2 and at the third i'm getting v3 are we okay so my voltages and the current are assigned in the circuit we are taking it gradually for the nodal analysis so once i have all this what i have to do is apply kcl to the number of nodes that i have looking at this i have three remaining non-reference nodes so i'll apply three nodes so at node one where v1 is at node one the current analysis what do we see we can see that the three ampere current is equal to the current ix living and plus current i1 also living so what we have to do is we have to express this current in terms of what voltages so what we have is ix can be expressed in terms of voltage as we know current is voltage on the resistance so ix is moving from a voltage source v1 up to a voltage source v2 so that is going to give us the voltage is going to be v1 minus v2 and it is passing through the resistor 2 ohms so the same thing i have i1 current and when you check i1 current it is also moving from this voltage v1 up to it is also moving up to the voltage v3 do you see that it is moving from v1 and passing all the way to the v3 node volt so that is also going to be v1 minus v3 on and it is passing through the 4 ohm resistor very simple so i have the equation written in terms of voltage so i can bring them in and write 3 is equal to ix which is also known as v1 minus v2 on 2 plus i1 which is v1 minus v3 on 4 and when you simplify this equation you multiply through by the lcm and you simplify this equation you are going to get 
3 v1 minus 2 v2 minus v3 should be equal to 12 as our equation 1 from node 1. Are we okay? So now we go to the node 2. That's the second node at node 2. What is happening over there? So the current analysis at node 2 is also going to be, we can see that the current coming is the Ix current, which is equal to I2 living plus I3 also living. Now we have to express them in terms of what? Voltages. Are we good? And what we know is Ix is already expressed in voltage at the node 1. So let's express I2 and I3. Now, I2 is going to be checking the I2 current, which is passing through the 4 ohm resistor. It is moving from the V2 to the ground voltage. And at the ground, the voltage is zero. So minus zero on resistor, which is four. And this is the same as V2 on four. And our I3 can be expressed Looking at I3, it is also passing through the 8 ohm resistor, and that is moving from V2 to V3, and it is 8 like that. So bringing it back into the KCL equation, Ix, which is V1 minus V2 on 2, is equal to I2, which is also V2 on 4 plus I3, which is V2 minus V3 on 8. Simplifying this equation further is going to give us the equation as 4V1 minus 7V2 plus V3 should be equal to 0. Second node, second equation. So let's look at at node 3 at node 3. What is the analysis also at node 3? So at node 3, current analysis is going to be, we can see that this I1 current is moving into the node and I3 is also moving into the node. So that will be I1 plus I3 moving into, which is equal to this current living is called 2 times Ix. So 2 times Ix. We've already established the I1, I3, and Ix in terms of what? Voltages. So we just bring them back into the equation. I1 voltage, which is V1 minus V3 on 4 plus I3 voltage. And our I3 voltage is also going to give us, we already have it here, V2 minus V3 on 8 plus, that is equal to 2 times Ix. And Ix voltage is also V1 minus V2 on 2. So we are just here to simplify this equation and when you simplify this equation you are going to get 6 v1 minus 9 v2 plus 3 v3 equal to 0. This is the third equation from the third node and now you have three equation with three unknown which can be solved using simultaneous equation and with your calculator you can solve three equation with three unknown. So doing that, you can see that your voltage V1 will be equal to 4.8 volts. And your V2 is going to be 2.4. And your V3 is going to be negative 2.4 volts. So this is the voltages that we have at the particular nodes, at the node 1, V1, node 2, V2, and node 3, V3. With this nodes and the resistance, you can calculate for the current I1, Ix, and I2. You can calculate for that because you have the voltages 
just plug them into the equation for instance ix equation you put the value of v1 v2 and divided by 2 i1 will be v1 minus v3 or divided by 4 i3 will also obey the same equation and you can calculate for the current but we were to calculate for the voltages at the node and this is the solution for that it's very simple you have to just obey the instructions and go by the approach thank you for watching this episode kindly drop your comment subscribe and share the video see you in the next episode where we are going to talk about the analysis if there is no or if there is voltage source this episode treated without voltage source in the next episode we are going to include the voltage source see you in the next episode bye